Wanna go fishing? Search and rescue, baby! Yeah! This stunt we're about to do is one that this guy right here has always wanted to do. Drag race snowmobiles across one mile of water on a lake. All right, boys. So what are we doing with these? Well, we're putting together a video. And these snowmobiles are going to be turned into watercraft. It's basically a jet ski. <laughs> basically a jet ski, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we still got a lot of work to do to get them ready to drive across one mile of water. First, we need to drain the old fuel and the oil and top them off with new fluids. We'll check the compression on each engine to make sure there's enough juice to get across the lake and then swap out the old spark plugs for new ones. Then we need to seal everything up with silicone to make sure we're not dumping fuel into the lake. And finally, we want to make sure these 500-pound machines don't sink to the bottom of the lake. So we'll need a flotation device specifically engineered for these machines. So this one's definitely going under, so we should probably throw some more inner tubes on it. Beef his up with like a few of them. Oh yeah. Now that they got the inner tubes on, we just need to change spark plugs, add new oil, change seat covers, obviously, and then these snowmobiles will be ready to hit the lake. The track is one mile long there and back. The key to getting across water on a snowmobile is keeping up speeds of 60 to 70 miles an hour across that water. See that water? It's like ice. Your mind shuts down in 40 degrees of water. I don't have a mind as it is. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Quick, play some more of that cool underwater stuff. I got a phone call from the local search and rescue department saying that they were looking for a vehicle to help them with their upcoming tourist season to help rescue people. We have the Sisu Nasu, built for the Finnish military. It's a personnel carrier designed to go through water, mud, frozen tundras, that kind of stuff, you know, everything. Basically getting anywhere you need to get. To turn this Sisu Nasu into the ultimate search and rescue vehicle, first we'll switch from the military camo to a bright safety green color that'll make this pop in any terrain. Then we'll transform the inside of the rear car into a mobile command center, complete with bench seating so that you can carry a crew to the top of the mountain or bring a victim down and have room for a stretcher. We're gonna do a complete tune-up on the gas engine to make sure that it's capable, ready, and reliable for any time they need it. We'll finish it off with a completely new custom lighting package with LED light bars all over so that they can see any time, day or night. The Sisu Nasu is one of the coolest vehicles that I have ever and will ever own. But you know what? It's going to a good cause and it might even save a life one day. The Sisu Nasu is getting a fresh coat of paint so that it can stand out in the wild. I'm about to do something that I haven't done since high school shop class, a tune-up on a V8 gas engine. Ew. One nice thing about this is that the engine sits smack dab in the middle of the front car and much easier to work on than trying to reach under the hood of a vehicle. All right, here we go, moment of truth. Oh, yeah. That sounds nice. I'm hearing something. Lights. Watch your balls. Look out. That is what we need right there. Gentlemen, holy cow, that is awesome. We went all out. That is incredible. That's awesome. We're not even sinking. That's crazy. Sisu Nasa don't care. Hey, we're headed to Texas to help out with the Hurricane Harvey situation. We have a convoy leaving from our shop tomorrow night. F you, Harvey. Yeah, F you, Harvey. We need supplies, bottled water, pillows, Baby formula, things like that. I'll put a list up on the post, but if you could donate some of that, we will take it down there and help the people of Texas. The response was insane. Pallets and pallets of food and water and baby supplies. Building badass trucks is fun, but when you can use them to save people's lives, you're damn right we're gonna go down and do it. We're bringing the Brodozer, my favorite. We put the biggest tires on that we have. We're being told that there's 10 feet of water in places. So the higher we can be, the better off. It's a 25 hour drive. And the bottom line is there is people that need our help. We have the ability, the opportunity to go down and do it. So that's what we're gonna do. 
Here we are in Vidor, Texas, a little town just north of Beaumont, and this place is completely flooded. The hurricane dumped 50 inches, and it's just literally overwhelming the town. It's taking out bridges, roads. We just flew an old guy to the hospital who was unresponsive. They found him in his house flooded. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. We might get stuck. The floodwaters have gotten so high that they're turning neighborhoods into islands. So we're basically trying to track down anybody that needs a ride into safety. They need supplies, so we're loading it from our trailer into the Stewart and Stevenson, and we're driving it there now. A lot of damage done. Like, people have lost everything. This is nuts. It's crazy. We just got to get into the supply drop and get this food to these people because there's people who haven't eaten for like a day now, so it's kind of a big deal. You come back more. I have never, ever been part of anything like this. I'm really, really glad that we're here to help out. Oh, 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 you gotta go and love this, my man.